Welcome back to another versus video. On the left we have the LG 32GS 95UE versus its little brother, the 27GX 790A. They both feature W OLED panels with MLA Plus technology with up to 1300 nits in peak brightness. And I wanted to showcase today what that MLA Plus really means in terms of the peak highs. We'll be covering it on the PlayStation 5 and PC with Gran Turismo 7, F1 2024, and the awesome HDR power impact of Cyberpunk 2077. So hit that like button friends so more people can see this video to see what MLA Plus really means. And consider subscribing if you want more versus videos just like this one. Thanks guys. When we hear MLA Plus technology versus standard MLA, the plus you would say gives you that increase in brightness. And while this does feature up to 1300 nits in peak brightness, it's really in the 2% to 1% windows. But what does that mean? Here driving in the cockpit, this is what that means. Look at the speedometer, look at the numbers, the miles per hour, the headlights of your rear view mirror up top and on the right. That's what the peak brightness is doing, that QD OLED technology cannot achieve. In the future, I will showcase what I'm talking about here versus a QD OLED monitor, but MLA Plus technology in this specific scene will always win. So if you play a lot of racing games at night and you want the most impact with OLED technology, at least in monitor form, because the TVs can get a lot brighter. Here we're talking about two of the latest and greatest monitors from LG, the 32 on the left and the 27 on the right, with the same technology, other than one is dual mode on the left, and on the right we have 480Hz. But here I'm showing that MLA plus difference, and I would say, at least with my monitors, the 32GS 95UE on the left is about 20 to 30 nits brighter overall, I would say 90% of the time, in every scene I throw at it, when comparing the two. Now this is a 4K signal, and it's native on the left, while on the 1440p monitor on the right, it still accepts it, and it still looks very impactful. It really depends on what you need, the size, or that hertz difference. I'm showing here MLA Plus technology, and what up to 1300 nits in peak brightness really means. So from the headlights and speedometer, I would say here with the brake lights, and the overall city scenes with the windows of the neon, I would say, buildings, or signs, in scenes like this, that's the difference with MLA Plus technology and why you would want it. But yes, I'm showing both of the same monitor. In case you were wondering, well, which one should I get, the 32 or the 27 from LG? Rest assured, they are basically the same in terms of picture impact, while the 32 does pull in about 20 to 30 nits brighter. Moving on over to F1 2024. Now, this is a muted scene. It's not that impactful, like at nighttime. And you're easily able to see here that the 32 inch is brighter. Look at the sky. I would say we're pulling about 50 nits brighter in this specific scene. Here with Cyberpunk 2077, here moving the camera a bit, they look almost identical. Like I said, the 32 on the left is pulling ahead about 20 to 30 nits at all times, like in this 24 sign. So I would say regardless of whichever one you get, you're going to have an amazing experience. Personally, I would prefer the immersion and the size of 32 inches. It's better for me for editing, for watching movies, for browsing and gaming, but that's at 240 Hz at 4K. And since it's a dual mode, you do get 480Hz at 1080p, but on the right it's a native 2560x1440p 480Hz gaming monitor. So remember, you do need a strong GPU to run both of these monitors. I run them with the 4080, and so far I've had a good experience. Look at the amazing impact of Cyberpunk. Here with the purple, green, yellow neon signs everywhere, they are very impactful monitors. The really cool thing is, for SDR mode, these monitors do enable peak brightness on low or high. But I will have a future video versus a QD OLED, as usually when we have a full screen of a lot of colors, a lot of brightness, QD OLED brightness does pull ahead. It is easily noticeable, but in the peak highs like you're seeing in this video, it's an amazing impactful picture. And if you're considering either buying the 32GS 95UE on the left or the 27GX 790A on the right, rest assured, they have 99% of the same picture quality, with the 32-inch model pulling in ahead 20 to 30 nits at mostly all times. And you can't go wrong whichever one you decide to get. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful. Hit that like button so more people can see this video to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more versus videos just like this one. W OLED, QD OLED, Mini LED, and everything in between. Technology is improving year by year, and that's what we do here. Versus videos, gameplay videos, news and reviews, and everything in between to know what's out there and not waste your hard-earned money. This has been the LG 32GS 95UE versus the LG 27GX 790A 
W OLED MLA Plus technology gaming monitors with up to 1300 nits in peak power. And hopefully, you were able to see that in today's video in specific gaming scenes. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.